Greetings everyone, and great here with another Relic 3 replay. Spawn on the bottom left side as the red allies, we have this Cryo Love. Spawn on the top right side as the Scion Soviets, we have you know. Got a power plant down in the corner. We do have, of course, a reactor, or no, a pair of barracks there. Now going for his reactor now. So the Soviet player may be eyeing for a whole bunch of conscripts. Or at least a combat engineer and a whole bunch of conscripts because he still needs to capture the oil derrick. Fast airfield for the allied player. Fast airfield is something more common on Affinity Isle. And the bear will spot the fast airfield. We do have also some wall segments going on now, so he's going to try to protect his uh, airfield with some wall segments. Conscripts, however, can destroy wall segments there with Molotovs. And does throw some bombs there, good bomb switch there, taking three conscripts. More Vindicators pushing way forward as well. Another bomb run there, good bomb runs, takes out another three conscripts. And the uh, airfield gets fully walled off there. Very nice. More Vindicators coming on forward. And that's basically the rest of the conscripts now. It's still pushing forward. We'll follow the see the wall segments. And Vindicators pushing way forward. Trying to bomb something. Looks like one of them did receive some fire there, so there may be some flak troopers around. I think they'll see any bullfrogs yet. So we place immediately going for a third expansion now. Let's get a number of troops inside all these garrisons as well. Let's get some good damage there. More bomb runs raining on end. Does take out the reactor. So we'll need to rebuild the reactor, which he's doing now. And of course, falling back. This one is sort of dancing around. He does get a bomb run onto the ore collector, but the ore collector is something you really should be bombing right now. It takes five uh, Vindicator bomb runs to take out an ore collector. You got a naval expansion now for the allied player. Well, the sub player has gone to his uh, high ground expansion. Big bomb run there, and he does force, force, uh, get his reactive armor up, which means that it's going to take a lot of bomb runs to take out that ore collector. He should probably take a bit better time to actually bomb the refinery itself at the current rate. You could try getting some flak troopers inside the civilian garrisons to wood away against these aircraft flying about. There's a garrison here as well. Some good splash damage there and throws a combat engineer into the ore refinery. You don't see that all too often, but that is a good investment. Though the ore collector is still quite wounded, there's nothing much you can do to stop that other than uh, deploying out a crusher crane in this region. Fox troops are not getting inside the garrison. Now we do have some more Vindicator bomb runs pushing way forward. Uh, I'm not sure what they're going to eye. We'll find a couple of flak troops inside the garrison, gain some good damage there. Let's see if he does go ahead and bomb the ore collector, or the ore refinery. It's good damage. Ore collector's almost down. Gavlin lays a lot of advanced forward, trying to clear off some of these garrisons.
garrison has been cleaned on out. Looks like a force fired the garrison. Vindicators are pushing their way forward. I'm gonna follow them a little bit better with the panning tool. And I'm doing a pretty bad job of that. And the work with their. Did he not all. I'm not sure why he's trying to bomb split that. But he does take out the ore collector there. And he may see some more flak. Literal flak on the retreat. And does not lose any of those vindicators. Ore frogs, however, may get some of them on the retreat. And somehow not. He managed to get all the higher health units there. Good bark there to stun down that bear as he was getting a lot of uh, gnomes off. Bullfrogs, however, are not exactly good items to block infantry whip. These keepers could try. Gets good roar there, but the other dogs are here to support. Black troopers do get forced out of garrison. They get inside the bullfrogs and inject them onto the high ground. But for a poor control right there. Royal Derek Howard's almost gone down to these uh, conscripts. There's at least three or four in their uh, garrison. Notice that the bear did get a good roar there. More roars, more bears. Trying to use the laser lock there. Does not stop both travel troops, only one of them. To get out of the garrison to help deal with these forces. Dogs do get gunned down there, and now conscripts are pushing with board and will deal with the javelin troop. Up here, we do have the dolphin now being spit it's there. It does take out a ore collector. Try and go for a Tesla coil there. The Tesla coil is receiving a bit of fire. Now you have some more conscripts advancing forward with some hammer tank support. Conscripts are not hitting the Javelin Troop, but the Javelin Troop does get crushed. Satellites do rain on in the company. War factor there, very nice. One of the hammer tanks do get bombed. The airfield so safely tucked behind its uh, walls. But there is actually a missing wall segment there. One of the, uh, the Vindicators almost goes down, but they're all still alive. Hammer Take gains some good hits there, destroying some wall segments. But the Hammer Take itself does go down to another small bomb run, not fully loaded. Inside that garrison, we do got these Vindicators pushing way forward, trying to get a nice bombing run onto these forces. So it's players just been eyeing just mass expansion. Though both players have gotten all their expansions. Cryo coppers are now engaging the garrison. And this garrison now is completely frozen. Mondegon turrets have been pulled on out. The garrison does get shattered. When the bullfrogs do go down, Hammer takes the bullfrogs facing forward with one terror drum support. But overall, he's just sort of streaming these forces at one at a time. Then the crowd coppers rip these guys apart. That's going to affect there onto that prospector. Does get some good uh, garrisons in there, getting a lot of jam troops in. In a care bomb run, push the way forward. We'll see some bullfrog fire. And that vindicator could have gone down, does go down. Gallon troops do pop on out, getting some great damage there. Garrison will not stay up for much too long. There's actually a flak trooper inside as well, which does get gunned down there by the Riptide. And 
And these riptides are going to make their way up north. Structure yard, MCV does pack on up. Didn't receive any laser locks there, so it's the same with some constant fire there. One reactor will go down. Cash bounty will, of course, give it a bit of a cash rebate. And there goes the ore refiner as well. Ore collector will be next, does go down as well. We have a number of stingrays now being pulled on out. He does not have a crusher crane in this re uh, region for repairs for the MCV. Stingrays gonna make their way out onto land. Over here, we do also have an Atasha out in the field with some bears and a V4 and a very wounded bullfrog. Interesting composition. Stingrays are pushed away forward. They're going to receive some bomb runs. And they're now dead. One video can still has some bombs left, needs to fall it back. So the player is lacking anti any anti-aircraft support. There's multiple vindicators as well as cryocopters, so he needs more anti-aircraft support. A lot of it. Riptides are now making their advance. Guns down the bear. B4 do roll a miss there, and that's a lot of javelin troops. Or Conquer does get frozen down as well. Got the level three, uh, level one satellites running on in. Gets a pair of javelin troops there. Nothing too significant. Bears push away forward. Natasha needs to get inside that garrison as soon as possible. There we go. It needs perhaps I to hit those uh, javelin troops there. First airstrike will come forward. Uh, I'm not sure what Natasha's doing on the inside. Natasha's now fully down. Too many javelin troops there. Now we've got the riptides and javelin troops are advanced forward. That's an Apocalypse tank. The Apocalypse tanks are going to get ripped apart by that uh, javelin troops. Let's shrink one of the Apocalypse tank. Both of them do get shortened. He needs to desk their airstrike to hit this force. Warcracker does go down. The battle lab may just want to be sold off. Needs some bears. And these uh, apocalypse tanks, they are shrunken. And the thing is, by the time they get unshrunken, the shrink rays are back off cooldown. Apocalypse tanks advance forward. Desk their airstrike rolls a miss onto these javelin troops. And some of these forces are getting crushed. Gallant are advancing forward. Does he got another refinery there? So let's go ahead and take out that ore cutter. Ox Springs advancing forward, but they can get easily shrunken and frozen, no problem. I don't think a shrunken apocalypse can can run over infantry either. I'm not sure on top of my head. Let's get a nice roar there. Yep, you cannot uh, crush infantry. Even the largest tank can't crush Soviet the tree when shrunken. And now they're going to be uh, frozen down. They do receive a lot of misses from these forces, but they're still shrunken down units, so they're completely worthless. Super Actor does course go down. And he's packing up all those javelin troops. The problem is, you may want to keep them unpacked with the. If you're trying to go for the naval. Hit the naval expansion. It's pulling out Crusher Crane there to crush the Aura Collector. And now we do got a cash bounty onto the Aura Refinery. Or finally, or oil Derek does go down there. And let's see, it will not manage to gun down that javelin troop. V4 
Vinegar is pushing way up north, trying to get a nice spot and run. A lot of targets up here. And when I say a lot of targets, I mean three and a bunch of wall segments. Let's go for a bomb run there onto the MCV. Get some good damage there. Makes now in pursuit. Gain some good kills there. Only one kill, looks like. Let's, of course, have the Crusher Crane there. You can perhaps park the MCV next to the Crusher Crane and get some repairs for free. Here I come. Uh, something was shrunken down. It is a prospector that got shrunken down. And now these riptides are going to make their final way to this. Oh, well, yeah, I've got all javelin troops inside of them. How did I forget that? The warfighter will go down to these javelin troops. Now just a naval expansion to deal with. We do have the Soviet MCV redeployed over here. I'm not sure how much credits he has left. He's going for a reactor there. Looks like he didn't have he needs to pull out a reactor before he can pull out a refinery. Could have done that a little bit earlier with the crusher crane. I will say deploying out some sentry guns to when he deploys out uh his uh, refiners wouldn't be half bad either. Stingrays have been picked up. Go ahead and drop off the stingrays in this region. They have their legs ready to be dropped off. Apocalypse thing being picked up. Okay, what's he? Those lose the MIG, not the Apocalypse tank, or Stingrays. Combat Engineer does get gunned down there as well. He's trying to repair up. Gaslayer Strike misses all the Javelin troops there. Does lose his force there. Proud Copper is being pursued by these MIGs. MIG does go down. Now the Riptide's going to advance over to sea. He needs to get the Stingrays and the Apocalypse tank. Honestly, the Stingrays could go back over here, but the Apocalypse tank could be aggressive. Motor Gunner turret has been pulled out, sending some missiles up into the Apocalypse tank. One, the Apocalypse tank needs to go down. Apocalypse tank does go down there. Kraugen has been called on in, freezing out most of its infrastructure there. And now the torpedoes going to hit the Shield War Factory or the Naval Yard, and that is the end of the replay. It's Anna Great saying thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.